welcome to Brett Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons. And in this lesson, uh, we are going to be continuing learning Cripple Creek. So lesson three, we'll teach you the verse of Cripple Creek. In lesson two, we showed you how to do the chorus of Cripple Creek. If you've not completed lesson two, stick with lesson two. Don't try to do lesson three because it's an up. It will stay up. It will be available. Uh, all the first six lessons will be available all the time to anybody for as long as they're they're up there. Uh, starting lesson seven, this will be a Patreon-supported lesson program, uh, which means you would need to go to Patreon and sign up there. And I've got that information at the end of the video. So I want to thank those who are supporting through Patreon, and I do hope these lessons are a help and a blessing to you. So let's get started. Uh, if again, if you've not been able to play what I just showed you, don't don't attempt this this new part, which is the verse. I told you in lesson two that you would need to learn your C chord. If you can't play your C chord yet, if you can't get it down relatively quick, then you may want to hold off and keep working on that. But we will get started. Uh, eventually, I will change the angle so that you will be able to see both hands. But right now, I think it's more important that you see the left hand, and I will explain what we're doing. So you're going to put your middle finger on the first string, third fret, and your right hand is going to pinch, and we talked about this in the lesson two, which means your thumb is playing five, the fifth string, and your middle finger is playing the first string, and you're literally... You're literally, I'll uh, hold it up, you're literally just pinching. So we're going to go back. Your middle finger will be on three on the first string. You're going to pinch five and one together and slide to five. Again, let it ring. Then keeping that finger down, you're going to pick that first string again with your middle finger. Lift that finger off. You're going to play that string again, first string, with the middle finger. And then the second string open with your index finger. So one more time. Slide three to five with a pinch. Play the first string while you're holding the fifth down still with your middle. Lift it off, pick it with your middle, then your index will pick the second string open. Your hand will slide down, you will make your C chord. Now again, I'm not going to go through and explain how to make the C chord because I did that in the last lesson. So if you don't know how to make the C chord, go back to lesson two. But you're going to make the C chord and you're going to play a forward roll. Now, we also covered uh, forward rolls in lesson one. And what you're going to play is thumb, index, middle, thumb. The strings you'll be playing are five, two, one, five. If I wasn't, I'm not going to be able to show this, but what you're doing is you're playing five, two, one, oops, sorry, my finger's in the way. There's your forward roll, but you'll do that while you hold your C chord. So thumb, index, middle, thumb. Five, two, one, five. So here's what we have so far. Five, two, one, five. Then pick the first string open, pinch. Very slowly. And you're going to love this because you already know this part. If you remember in the last lesson, I had you play 
three, two, five, one with the slide. So what you're doing is you're playing three, two, five, one, sliding two to three. Just as we did in the begin in the second part for the last phrase, we went open on four, two, fourth the fourth fret, middle finger on the first string, third pinch. Now again, I'm not going to reteach that whole thing. I taught that in lesson two, but this is what you should be able to play from lesson two. Here is all of the verse of Cripple Crate. Instead of ending that first time with a pinch, go back and do your slide three, uh, three to five and just start the tune over again. So let's do that again. That is the verse to Cripple Creek. Now I'm going to do that whole thing again and change the camera angle so that you can see both hands at once. And we're going to go through the whole entire tune beginning to end. And uh, this is what it's going to sound like. I'm going to show you at this angle, then we'll switch it. So let's go through it again, and I will change the angle so you see both. So let's try Cripple Creek one more time. I'll give you a quick review. What we're going to do is put our middle finger on the first string, third fret. You're going to pinch and slide. To the fifth fret. Three to five. You're going to pick that first string again with your middle while you're holding that down. Then you're going to pick the first string again open. And then you're going to pick the second string with your index. Make sure you get that nice and clean. Then you're going to make your C chord. You're going to do a forward roll. Five, two, one, five. While you're holding the C chord, thumb, index, middle, thumb. Make sure you can, that you have that little bit memorized. And we're going to start again. Then you're going to hit the first string, pinch. One more time. Real slow. And then in part, in lesson two, when I did uh, the second part, I had you do this. If you remember that, so you're playing three, two, five, one, and you're sliding two to three. You do that twice, 
I'm not going to reteach it. You should have that memorized. And then you're going to play just the same ending. Four, two, four, one, three, pinch. So what you're doing there is... And that's actually identical to the second part of the chorus. Here's the chorus again. This is what we did in lesson two. And then we played this for the second part of the chorus. That's exactly what you're doing for the second part here. Twice, then four, four, two, four, one, three, pinch. And you're doing four, two, four at the fourth fret, first string, pinch. So let me play the whole thing for you. Now, when you repeat it, instead of pinching at the end, what you're going to do is just go back to the beginning as you repeat and let... It's going to be a little bit longer slide. Listen again. You're going to start over, but right there, you're just doing the same thing. Sorry. That is the verse to Cripple Creek. So let's make sure that's memorized. All right, make sure you can make the chord, make sure you got it all memorized. And now what we're going to do is we are going to put part A and part B together. So I'm going to do this very slowly for you. Here's part A. Play it up to speed. Do not worry about getting this up to speed. Don't worry about trying to play anything fast. Speed will come. You, you know, you don't ever teach a child or a baby to walk. They just kind of get up and do it on their own. And you never ever teach them to run because it just comes, it's instinct. So you're playing, the more natural and more comfortable you get with these rolls and with this playing and with these tunes, the faster your playing will be. And, you know, your, your playing might not get fast until you get well into your lessons, but then it'll all happen pretty quickly. So don't worry about the speed. It's, as I said, it's not a race, it's a journey. Here it is up to speed. <laughs> Cripple Creek. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we're halfway through the introductory lessons and I hope you're enjoying them. I hope it's a blessing to you and we will see you next week for your next lesson. Work on this. Don't forget to anchor that pinky of your right hand and uh, let me know how things are going. We'll see you soon.